Hey guys, I'm hoping you guys can see all this. I'm on my new bike and I just want to show you what I see when I'm out. This is my neighborhood. All right. Show you a little bit from up on top of the hill. Yeah, I bought, I'm cheating, guys. I bought one of those e-bikes. All right. I know, it's a cheater bike. But this is where I live. So when I walk out of my apartment, I walk down the hill or walk out of the stairs and around the corner. This is my view when I come out to the edge here. And this is a trail. It's a trailhead. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. So yeah, I mean Catalina is a beautiful view today. I don't know if you can see it at all. That's Bolsa Chica State Beach. That's the beach that I say is trash can beach. It's been tough to deal with. That patch of trees you see in front of us is an area I want to metal detect. Been wanting to metal detect for years. But just haven't had access to. And uh, one of these days, I'm hoping to work with the uh, the historical society. That all of it is a preservation now. So the Bolsa Chica Gun Club had visitors such as uh, big, powerful businessmen of the age, which was from the early 1900s up until. Uh, through like 1950s right is when it was starting to close out i believe but the history of the bolsa chica gun club includes babe ruth lou gehrig all the famous people went there it was more than just a gun club guys we'll talk about that later so i wanted to stop here and the point that i'm standing on is it's actually really old it's really popular amongst the Native Americans that took up this area. This street right here is Warner. And out there where you see the end of Warner Boulevard where it comes to an end into the Pacific Ocean, that's Pacific Coast Highway. They call that Highway 1. Better known as PCH. When I say PCH, that's what I'm talking about. I this area right here guys it's it's in remembrance of the Native Americans that used to live in this area but think about this this is a riverbed area of ancient times and when the Spanish tried to or when the Spanish were conquering California um, this would have been a water source because there would be a fresh water source. And if you think about when the Spanish came up the Pacific, that's where they would stop, is wherever there was a fresh water source. Okay, guys, on to the beach. Technically, this spot, guys, I'm not supposed to be on a bike. I uh, I wanted to show you guys this spot, and, and I came through the back way. So yeah, there's nobody here this time. It's uh, <laughs> do you know it's 82 degrees right now, guys? I'm in shorts. I do have a long sleeve shirt on, but it's 82 degrees. It is Sunday, February what 20th, something like that. I want to go down this way. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, this is my first off-road experience on this particular brand new bike. Meaning, I just got it the uh, other day. Oops, I gotta make room for another. Hi, how are you? 
Hi. Yep. There's enough room in this row for everyone, isn't there? Okay. Ah, no problem. Yeah, I didn't run into any glass. You know what? I need to slime my tires. Oh, guys, you're not seeing any of this. All right. I'm trying. Sorry. Let me see if I can adjust this so it sits up higher. I'm hoping you guys can see better and I apologize about the bounciness. It's bouncy. Sorry. See, you know, they say, you know, you hear all this crap about California's getting a bad rap. I haven't met a bad Californian yet, guys. I'm not a native Californian either. All right? You know, I'm not a native. I'm a transplant. A military transplant. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this bike can go, man. And I only have it on pedal assist number three. I'm gonna slow down right now. I cannot go that way. And I don't wanna break the law by going this way. But it's dangerous. I'll go up here. This is not what you wanna do, boys and girls. This is breaking the law. Don't do what Jim's doing. He's stupid. Jim is stupid. Yes, you can say. Jim, you're stupid. Yeah. Well, what Jim is doing is going to a safe spot to where he can turn around and use a crosswalk. and piss everybody off that has to wait at this really long light because it is really long and this bike lane is a pain in the butt see how difficult this is guys see that guy where he's out in the bike that's where I want to be It's always a congestion. City life, guys. Big city. Don't kill me now. <laughs> That's what it's like, guys. Every day, the city life is like, you know, and this isn't even really the city. This is the beach. But what happens on that corner of PCH and Warner is that the lights get congested. All right, what they've been doing is finding people with me on these bikes going too fast. So I'm gonna leave it in pedal assist too. And we're just gonna have fun, okay? Keep in mind, this is uh, I'll show you guys, it's uh, all right. It is, all right, 511. It's 71 degrees at the beach at approximately 5.11 p.m. on Sunday, February 21st. So all you guys who are stuck, take a look at what I see up here. Right next to sea legs, guys. Are you metal detectors? Do you live in the area? Do you see why I'm on a scouting mission today, right now, in the afternoon on a Sunday? 
All right, I need to slow down. They're giving tickets out to guys like me. All right. It's a bike path too. All right, now you know where I'm gonna be metal detecting tomorrow, right? You guys saw that, right? See, Jim uses his time off smartly. All right, some of you guys that have metal detectors in your hand right now, well, you should. But right now in that spot, you wanna wait until that's all over, right when it's over. If you didn't get it right when it's over, you missed out because Jim's already gone through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. Like I said, this is my beach that I've been hitting. Trash can beach. Okay, we got slow bows. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Did you guys see that? There's a dog up in there. I love these these uh, little camper tents on top, man. How cool is that? Those are some of the coolest things I've seen. Guys, the year of COVID has taught me so much more about humanity and mankind than you could possibly ever imagine. We're a vent. We are very inventive people. You know what I mean? Okay, guys. I won't bore you. This part, there's not a whole lot of people. I'll turn you on. Oh my God, that you're burning some wood there. Okay, who's getting in front of me? Ugh. <laughs> uh. Look at that, my battery hasn't even moved yet, man. Technically, I can go all the way to the wedge and back with this thing, that's why I got it. That's what we're gonna be doing. You know, I don't have to take you with me all the way, but let me tell you something about the view on the way there in the summertime is, well, Jim's never needed the internet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Except for YouTube and Netflix and Amazon and yeah, I guess I do need the internet, but you know, I guess I needed it because I was in the computer business for so long. Okay guys, I will catch you up when I get closer. So they're doing a concert here. I was just going too fast for the GoPro. Yeah, so right there they're doing a little concert on the beach. Okay, guys. I need to even have another band setting up here, guys. Wow, that's three bands set up. That's a Sunday, February 21st, 2021, year of COVID. Hey guys, all of you who are stuck in the snow right now, this is for you, the snow. I feel for you guys, I feel for you. I need to slow down, I'm doing 20 miles an hour and a non-post didn't give you a ticket for being a Republican. <laughs> I'm kidding, sorry guys. Anymore, that's what I feel like in this day. I'm, I'm a fiscal conservative. That's why I'm a CFO, guys. Plus, the view is much better from back here now. 
not that dude, but there we go. <laughs> the one in white up there. Oh, hi, that's a good Labrador. I like Labradorables. Because I hope you don't mind that this is not metal detecting, but I am kind of using this as a scouting mission. I'm having fun. It's fun with Jim. That's the way it works. One of these days I'll actually be able to take you fishing and actually catch fish. Because it seems like every time I put the camera on, I don't catch fish. And by the way, ever since they started working up on the, the inlet there into the harbor, there hasn't been a single sign of fish except for jellyfish in the harbor. I'm staying at a solid 17, guys. My energy bar hasn't moved a bit, which is great because I'm going to use all energy coming home. And uh, they've been giving tickets out, believe it or not. They're ticketing electric bikes that are going way too fast. Well, trust me, you guys know how it is. I got to stand up. And this is. the edge of the beach area. We are leaving Bolsa Chica State Beach. We're gonna go over the river. It's uh, been converted. This inlet has been converted to uh, a uh, freshwater bird sanctuary food exchange. It is one of the best fishing spots in Southern California. That's why it's full of fishermen right now. Jim knows it's not worth it right now. Because I like fish. And I like putting my freezer full of fish. Surf perch tacos are my favorite. Okay, I gotta slow down here. Technically, I can drive on the sand on this. All right, I can get by her now. All right, we are now in the city of Huntington Beach. We've always been in the city of Huntington Beach. We're on, uh, Huntington City Beach, Dog Beach. We just left Bolsa Chica State Beach. All right, and I'm gonna put it down to three again on pedal assist. I am going uphill, but I'm trying to moderate the gap between human and bicyclist like I have right here. You guys know what I mean. It's like driving the freeway. How you doing? And just like driving the typical California road. Maybe if I get enough to pedal assist five, I can get by him quickly. Sunset's gonna be beautiful here in a little bit, guys. I'm gonna be turning the bike around here. Just perfect view of the sunset. Yeah, I'm cheating. Yep, I don't mind it one bit. Yep, all it took was finding one Frederick Goldman silver 
I mean, one Fed, Frederick Goldman uh, 14 karat gold ring, guys. That's what this was. One ring. One ring to buy the bike. It was a, a mutual exchange in a way. Let me get around these guys on the right. That kid is the cutest kid. I'll give him all the leeway he wants on this path. The path splits off here. And the nice about having a fat tire bike. I'll show you what the bike looks like here in a bit. We were at Huntington Dog Beach is where we've been at for, I don't know, a mile. I'll show you the entrance here. We'll pull up here. Right here is a good spot. All right, guys, see the sunset I was talking about? And that's the uh, area Dog Beach. You can see how the water is way up right now. The last time I was here was probably metal detected this area it was maybe september-ish and the water was way out so there's been a lot of uh erosion of the beach sort of speak but again it's hit and miss in this area it really is so i do highly recommend anybody in huntington beach you got to give it a shot i find rings there I find a lot of garbage. So if you're going to go with bottle caps like I do, yes, yeah, it's, it's a moderately good bottle cap beach. I like more bottle cappy beaches. And I like bottle cappy beaches that they give up, uh, you know, that rich people go to. And that's one of them. Not to say that rich people drink around their dogs, but, you know. Rich people drink around everything that <laughs> drink. Now you can probably see Huntington Beach Pier by now. I don't know how far the GoPro sees. I'm going to keep this at moderate pace. All right. I don't want to get a ticket. They've been giving tickets to us. There is, I haven't seen a speed limit sign. I just see on Facebook posts, you know, throughout the Huntington Beach, like, city, Facebook. Man, why do pit bulls always have such the biggest smiles, you know? They are, like, one of the most beautiful dogs. My, my sister is a pit bull. That's my mom's dog. 105-pound blue nose. The thing uh, was bred to be a fighting dog. And it lived on the other side of the wall that the man was breeding the dog. Didn't really care about the dog. It broke my mom's heart. So my mom adopted that dog. And they've been in love with each other ever since. And let me tell you something. When you walk that dog, everybody walks around you. All right, we are going down into this is Huntington Dog Beach area. I'm going to take it down to pedal assist two on this bike. What happened there? Where are we going? All right. And this is one of my favorites. Oh, look at that chocolate. It's beautiful. Excuse me. Thank you. That's a beautiful chocolate. Oh man, that bell would drive me nuts.
Guys, I think I'm just gonna air this whole darn thing on YouTube. I mean, some of you are stuck, you know, while you're in the kitchen, you know, making your soup and chili and trying to stay warm, you can watch this. It's probably dropped down into the high 60s right now. <laughs> Those things look, they look fun right there. They, they go fast. So, I, uh, I have a background in computer science and one of the things I'm going to do is reprogram this to utilize the maximum potential of it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Got a tough maneuver here. Oh, volleyball court's really low. Wonder why. Wonder if it was little kids or they turned it to some type of foot. Maybe soccer. Ah, oh, might need to metal detect that. That's a change. Something different. The channel's way deep. I haven't seen it that deep in a while. When I talk about channel, I'm talking about this right up here. This area is where the, the piping from the underground to the natural runoff would flow down into there. Sorry that I move it around on you guys. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Stand up for a while. It's nice. I got throttle, and I my battery hasn't even even hasn't even budged yet. Look at this. It's so beautiful out here right now, guys. And like I said, I'm doing this. Well, number one, because it's beautiful. Number two, I want to see where the people are actually at. And if you look, they're out on the grass. I've never metal detected that. Never. I might need to get up there with a the little six inch coil. All right, this is going to be a tough one. Excuse me. down the pedal assist one guys let me take it real slow through here they do a little drum line here I probably 
this shit has a mask on. Let's get away from everybody here. All right, we just went underneath the pier. tell you, I get uh, a little buzz from all the weed that's being smoked around here right now. Might have to drive through there a couple more times. <laughs> right, I'm going to bump it up to pedal assist three. And I need to stand up. You know, the seat's not all that comfortable. I'm going to have to adjust the uh, fender on the front. It's rattling a little. But this is the first real ride out. You know. There's a lot of, lot of wonderful families out here. It is so awesome to see all the families. You know, it's a wonderful thing seeing the families back, guys. That's what we need. I'm a, my hobby is based on tourism in this area. So I'm going to promote it with all my heart. <laughs> and it breaks my heart when no one comes to the beach. Or they close the beach because they're just so ignorant. They don't know what they're doing. But I understand the fear. Right now, guys, I would say <laughs> this is great beach to dip metal detect. If you're thinking about coming to Huntington Beach, you know, reach out to Jim. Jim will find you a good deal. All right, I know this area, I know all the connections. You know, I'm here right now. <laughs> you know. I know many people that are, uh, well, a lot of them are back to work already, but, um, and the ones that can't work, you know, it's understandable because they got to be home with their kids. Oh, chocolate lab is just standing by the door waiting for the owner. You know what? I never thought about that area to metal detect, you know? And here, it's a very earthy pot smell right now. Remember, it is legal here in California. It's just illegal to smoke anything on a beach. <laughs> and there's not a beach that anybody doesn't do that. Looks like there's some activity up here. Oh boy. I am heading towards Newport Beach right now, guys, but I'm going to be doing a U-turn right now. That direction, right? We want to view a little bit of this sunset on the drive home. Huh? I'll try to curve the camera a little bit to the left so you can see it on our drive home. So guys, any day from April 1, and I'm talking weekdays, every day, to all the way up until like November 1, let me get out of their way, and uh, 
This is the way the beach is. This is a slow day. Hi. Sorry. That's all right. And again, I will tell you, this beach gets a bad rap, but if you come here with attitude, you'll get it back. If you come here with love and spirit and ready to party, you're going to get just that. You'll get that in return. There's that sunset, guys. It's going down into the Pacific. You know what's going to happen? Jim in shorts is going to be cold. I'd say I could take the shortcuts home, but they're all through trailheads. Oh yeah, sun goes down, it's getting cold. I gotta pay attention here. <laughs> you know, when you know when your kids develop mad skills it's because usually their parents have got mad skills i don't know if that works for tiger woods or not was, i took too much money from his old man <laughs> but his son got me back So my energy bar went down to halfway in just a little bit. All right. Look at that. Golden view by the pier. You guys know why I have my view on my channel. It was never a manipulated view. It's a view I see almost every day when I'm out here having fun, which is a lot. All right, I'm gonna go through an area that we just went through, but I think I need to wear a mask just because of the volume of people. So I'm hoping that I brought a mask, which I did. Now, can I do it? Whoop. Yeah, that's why I stopped. All right. I think you guys can see the bike that I got. All right. So, electric XP. Sure you guys can look it up on the... On YouTube, we'll check it out. They had a surf tournament. I forgot about that. Actually. I'm 
when you guys are seeing all this. Yeah, still recording. I better turn on the light. Got my light on. That's how quick it was. All right. Dude, I need a surfboard rack totally for this thing. Oh, I forgot to stop by Jax and ask him. Jax is a... Um, Go to the right, Alex. Right, 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 right. Sorry, boss. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> that sun's gone down. I'm gonna go lift this seat up a little bit, I think. Sorry. I'm gonna go to high side on the way back. I will tell you, it's probably dropped maybe, uh-oh, it, uh, it's dropped probably about, uh, I would say it feels like about 15 degrees. <laughs> uh, well, that's the way to do it right there that's all foot power
party is still going on. And it's, I don't know. I was concerned about battery power. So now I'm gonna pedal more. And with all the fire pits, see every single fire pit being used. Now you know what I talk about. I talk about fire pit gold, right? All right. <coughs> All right, this is where the band was on, where everyone was at on the beach. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to come down here with Diana and have dinner. They're gonna be open nice that uh, the restrictions are lightening up and we can start enjoying our city again that's why we pay the high rent right all right you want to pull me too <laughs> uh. Uh. Back to PCH and Warner. And this is where it gets crazy. The crazy people drive. Let's go to Power Assist 2. Throttle. And. Boy. I'm believing I'm going to have enough energy to get home. Hopefully.
So guys, thank you for joining me on my little bike ride today. We uh, left my home over in the Brightwater community here in Huntington Beach, California. And we zoomed on down to Sunset, corner of Sunset Beach, in between Sunset Beach and Bolsa Chica State Beach. And we went straight up uh, to almost Beach Boulevard and PCH, and where I did a U-turn and came back home. So, as far as the electric XP bike that I purchased, that was my first time out. I was a little concerned about the way the uh, power bar worked. So, when I noticed it started dropping, it started dropping dramatically and it got less than halfway quickly. And that's when I did my U-turn. So I'm just trying to get used to how far I can go and how the pedal assists and all those adjustments and but otherwise I love that bike and it was fun and thank you for joining me today and if you like my video please hit like if you'd like to see more consider subscribing ring in this bell and receive all the notifications every time I release a bit new video and if you check out any of my metal detecting videos